Okay, now we have tungsten coils. Okay, uh, once again, let's quickly recap what is source alphabet. Source alphabets are just symbols. We have to be encoded and their probabilities. So this is the outline of the algorithm, and uh, you can quickly pause the video and write it down. I will explain it now. So we create table with each letter and the corresponding probability. I think it's clear. If the table size exceeds some size, uh, we will calculate it in an example. It will become clearer. Uh, we go to step five. So actually, we terminate the algorithm and assign each qubit code board to a new entry. Uh, if not, uh, we remove the entry, some entry, uh, which we will multiply probabilities of our symbols. S max is the maximum probability, is the biggest probability of symbol in the table. Yeah, uh, obtained by concatenating every symbol from S by S max. And we continue with step two. Uh, now we will go to the example and it will become clear. In the table we mostly work with probabilities. These probabilities can be later encoded in binary, ternary or whatever system you choose. So let's go to the first step. First step, as I said, is multiplication of every symbol by the symbol of the, the biggest probability. The probabil probabilities will multiply with each other and symbols will be concatenated, like this. A multiplied with itself, two symbols of A and... Okay, I made a mistake here. We also define the size of our table by calculating this weirdly looking stuff. 2 in the power of 3, because Q is the size of S, minus 3 is also the size of S, plus 1. So it will be 8 minus 3 plus 1, this is 6. The limit, size limit of our table is 6. We have crossed out A, because it has the biggest probability. And we do the next step. We multiply everything by the, the symbol with biggest probability. Okay, it is becoming a little messy because I have little space. We will cross this guy out and multiply every other guy by him and write it down. After doing it, I have already calculated the table will exceed 6, there will be 7 members. Uh, then we will stop our algorithm. Okay, let's calculate it. Okay, even though we have crossed this guy out, he still takes part in the multiplication of probabilities. We will just not formulate code for him and for him because they have been crossed out. We do not generate codes for the ones who have been crossed out. So later, according to these probabilities, we can generate codes for our symbols. Um, the method can be different. What's the motivation of this algorithm? Uh, well, actually, sometimes a single corrupted bit can affect the whole message. And we will use code words of the fixed length Q, which might encode multiple source symbols. Uh, this algorithm gives us possibility to make symbols of equal length, of actually fixed length. And thus, uh, this algorithm, that's the strong part of this algorithm.